out to a wheel line that broke and we had it pressed back together and we have to line it all back up so we can get it started later this week. We have to wait a couple more days before we can actually start it. But we're all out here in the we're all here in the pickup. So that's where we're headed. We're gonna make a video about doing that. Alright, we're here now. This is our wheel line that's broken. It's in three pieces. And they fixed it, but we still have to put it together. So we need to we're gonna have to move it one way or another to get it all hooked back up. Gotta get some water on this field. There's some taters coming through. This hasn't been watered yet because this wheel line has been broken. So it is due for some water. Hopefully we can get it going in the next couple days at least. The reason we can't start it today is because the glue that they used when they pressed it together has to dry, has to cure for about four or five days. How we have to do this is we move these two end wheels out and then we will roll it and the two end ones should push it that way because it has to move about four or five inches that direction. So this is a fairly long section, so this might be a little tricky, but we'll see if we can get her done. All right, let's try it. Let's see if we can get this to roll. Let's see if we can get it lined up at least. While they're rolling that one, I'm rolling this end. How's that look? Guess we'll see if we're close enough to hook it up. How these hook up is it has all these splines on the end. And that one has splines and you line them up. You line them up and then there's a big clamp that clamps on here. So they're not quite in line yet, but So just roll that way till it lines somewhat up and you can bend them and hook them up. Now those rain birds are pointed that way and moving down. Oh, that's what I'm saying. Just roll this one until it looks like this. Alright. Let's roll it a little bit. This one has the motor on it, so we can just roll this with the motor. You gotta line them up. Because that one's going to have to roll some to get in it. Get these straight up and down. There we go. That should work. Got the teeth meshed. I was putting the clamp on. Rainbird on it. Now that one's hooked together. This was one of the pieces that came out. You can see now it's a little crooked. We have to flex it to get it to hook up. And once it's hooked up, we can straighten it out and slide it all down. Have to straighten just keep it out. moving this way and then it'll just straighten itself out. So you straighten it out and it'll push itself to where it needs to be. I just got to get it in line and then go do the other end. That wasn't too bad. No. no, that was a lot easier than I thought. All right, they're gonna get the truck. We're gonna go down and do the other one. But we got this all in line. 
We just have to hook the other end up. This is the other section. It's not as long of a section, so we might be able to just get all four of us on it and kind of move it all together. But yeah, this piece that's not hooked up is the one that, the other one that we had to have repaired, had to have the, the bottom put on. So we'll go put this together. <laughs> Way to go. I'm a rookie. Gotta line the teeth up. Just spin it a little bit. There you go. Just hook it on the top. There's not in right here. Yeah. There will be in a minute. This guy gets tired. It won't matter that far. Now, now if it was like looking over here. Yeah. This is when we have to roll it until these birds are up. And then we have to carry it back to hook it up. back in line and I'm tired. That thing's heavy. But they're all hooked up I think now. Now we just need to hook up the end. Might have to wait a day or two before we can actually turn it on though. So we have this hose hooked up to the riser and it plugs into the end and that will power it. And then when he moves it he'll hook this pipe on and put the hose on that end and hook it up. This wheel line only has two moves. Yeah, we got two more shots on there. So. And then the 20 foot hose, you could come back. This one needs a whole new piece, not just the rainbird. It needs everything. If you, if you, like with the, even with the hand lines, if you can get it on there good and just whack it hard versus trying to Try it. Here's a little pop loose. Broken rain bird that we have to I don't fix. have good leverage right there. <laughs> we have a couple of broken ones on this that we have to fix. And then it will be ready to go. Truck headed back. We got that all done. It's all ready to go. It just needs to be flushed and turned on. <laughs> 